What is up guys? Welcome back to another live in the Gen 7 OU tier. Today we are using a team based around Mimikyu and Ash Greninja, which is really cool. We also got another two new mons in Hilego and Alolan Muk. Didn't want to mention them really too much because they're more just support for the team rather than uh, the sweepers. But uh, Ash Greninja, pretty cool Pokemon right here. Uh, gets the Battle Bond ability, makes it extremely strong. Uh, they give it Water Shuriken with a special... Um, they made Water Shuriken special basically, just really helps them out. Uh, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, Hydro Pump, Standard. Uh, then we have Red Card Mimikyu, which is pretty threatening, uh, except in Psychic Terrain, which is why I'm running Alolan Muk, just to get rid of um, opposing Tapu Lele and be able to switch into them, because this thing takes like 23 from a Moonblast, which is really crazy. Um, so yeah, Mimikyu, um, Red Card, sets up a Swords Dance. If they manage to attack it, then the Red Card activates and they're switched out into something less favorable, more than likely. Uh, and if they don't attack, then that's a free Swords Dance and I still have my sub from Disguise. So uh, you guys are going to get to see how it works if you haven't already. It's really cool. Choice Specs, Magnezone, uh, able to take out the likes of Celesteela, uh, Ferrothorn, which the team really doesn't like. Uh, and then Landorus is just a good late game sweeper and it's a good it's good for U-turn momentum. So uh, there's that. So let's get a couple of games. Let's see how we can do. Uh, I'm also looking at the NPL chat right now. Uh, I applied for the NPL Miners, guys. Uh, if you don't know the NPL, it was the league that we replaced Robin a couple of months back. Um, I'm, I'm applying to the Miners now because uh, I haven't really made my place yet. So uh, once uh, once that's all settled and, and done, uh, I'll start uploading the, uh, the battles for uh, each and every week of the Miners. And hopefully we do well and uh, we can get into the NPL for next season because it's looking pretty lit. Anyway... Let's uh, let's look at this game. Uh, I really like the Hill Lego lead because we are focused Sash. That's always a really good lead option. Um, I also like leading potentially with Landorus because it's Scarfed. I can U-turn on anything. Uh, break the Mammoth Swine Sash potentially, which is also nice. Um, yeah, no, let's lead with the Hill Lego. I like it better. I did feel like Mammoth Swine was probably going to lead, but uh, my opponent also does not have a single hazard remover, so I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. If he wants to do the same, that's fine. He goes for Earthquake instead. Uh, I am just going to stay in here and just go for the Power Gem. If he wants to Ice Shard me, that's absolutely fine. I do have uh, Greninja in the back, which can uh, break this thing's sub with Water Shuriken. So I'm not too concerned, uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do, actually. I'm just going to go for the Water Shuriken. If he's Focus Sash, then we'll break it. Uh, unfortunately, Water Shuriken isn't too strong, so we need four hits, and we get them. Awesome. Okay, so we're in Battle Bond already pretty early on. That's really good. Um, Faramosa is faster than us, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. Uh, I might have to go into Lando on that. Be very, very careful. Um, <clears throat> I need Muck for Tapu Lele, 100%, or else this priority doesn't work anymore. Really glad I got those rolls, wow. <laughs> that was, uh, was kind of lucky. We'll go to Muck here, and uh, what we'll do is, after he clicks Moonblast, that's Specs, by the way, uh, we're gonna go for a Pursuit, uh, expecting him to switch out. That'll weaken him immensely. We are max attack adamant, so this is going to do a lot of damage. Should he switch out, of course. If he doesn't, then whatever. Uh, I'll just go into Lando after. Uh, he doesn't switch out, so that is going to be a dead muck, unfortunately. Uh, alternatively, I could just go into Magnezone realistically and then just fire off a flash cannon. That's my other play. I could keep this thing for Shadow Sneak for later. Uh, but no, I'm going to go for another Pursuit. We'll see if he wants to switch out this time. Uh, if he does, that's a bad play, but yeah, okay. He's just going to click Moonblast repeatedly, which is fine. Uh, we're going to go into Magnezone now. We are threatening this thing out, of course. He can't knock us out with a Moonblast. I fully expect him to go into Garchomp here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually pull a double into Greninja. Hopefully this works out. Uh, he should keep his Tapu Lele in, uh, in theory. <laughs> Hopefully we don't lose our Greninja here. That'd suck. Let's see what he wants to do. What's good is that uh, I get off an Ice Beam on the Garchomp. It might be, um, I'm, I'm thinking it's it's defensive because his Mammoth Swine just attacked. And from the way he stayed in on Greninja, I'm assuming it was Sash. So, could be Sash lead Rocks though. Could be wrong about that. We'll see. But anyway, my opponent's taking quite a while to make his play. As he's just going to Moonblast again. Okay, so we, get, we do get that one wrong. Uh, however, now I can go into Landorus, and uh, we are just going to click a U-turn because I fully expect him to go out into Celesteela. If he stays in once again, I'm just baffled uh, because I don't know why you'd let your Tapu Lele go down like this. Uh, it's, it's still got a lot of viability in this matchup. Okay, I guess he just wants it to die. All right, so we'll go into Magnezone, and we will click uh, Flash Cannon 
Uh, I, I really, really don't understand this, guys, because uh, if the fact that he didn't keep that means that Mimikyu sweeps him. And you guys will see why. So, let's see what he wants to do. Uh, I'm fully expecting either Ferramosa. Yep, there it is. And we'll go straight into Lando. I'm not letting this thing get a free kill. Or else its, uh, it's speed goes up, which is really, really bad. He goes for the U-turn. That's awesome. He's going to take additional rock damage when he comes back in. Uh, I think he's already in range of uh, plus two Shadow Sneak anyway, but... You know, uh, in comes Celestila. We are just going to U-turn out here as he does stay in. Sweet. We'll go into Magnazone. If he goes for Leech Seed, I'm fully expecting the Protect on the following turn. He actually goes for Autonomize. <clears throat> okay. That's a little bit scary, um, meaning that he's faster than me now. I'm actually going to go in back into Lando, expecting like an Earthquake or um, a Flamethrower or anything like that. I got I to gotta weaken this somehow. How do I win? I win with Mimikyu, but, hmm. Yeah, me losing Greninja like that. I really don't understand him staying in with Tapu Lele. It doesn't make much sense. Because he leaves too many of my members alive at that point. Uh, I also don't understand him staying in on Muck either. Uh, because that was a free gunk shot <laughs> right there. I wouldn't have had to lose either Muck nor health on Magnazone nor uh, my Greninja at that point. So I really don't get that. But anyway, it's fine. My players make uh, my my player. My opponent's making some curious plays, but it's all right. Uh, there's the flash cannon. Okay, so he's specially offensive. Uh, we are gonna go for the knockoff here. Get rid of his uh, leftovers, and uh, then we're gonna have to bank on Mimikyu coming through. Uh, I can't see it doing it, but yeah, I think this one's gonna be chalked up as a loss just because I made a, a couple of unnecessary plays. But again, like I don't know if you guys like if you disagree with my plays, let me know. But I'm pretty sure like that was the appropriate play in that situation. So, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, yeah, we're going to go for a uh, Shadow Claw here because I don't have a choice. He's going to go for the Flash Cannon anyway. Um, I'm not sure why he went for Flash Cannon on Magnazone. If that's his only offensive move. Maybe the other one's Air Slash. Yeah, we're going to go for Shadow Claw. Um, yeah, he went for Flash Cannon on my... Magnazone, so he would have lost his Celestila. All right, hopefully we get this guy again because now I know his sets a little bit. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna lose to this again. I promise you that. I'm gonna start timer on this guy because he's taking quite a while to click Flash Cannon, which is the most obvious play in the world. Um, really don't understand what's taking him so long. There we go. Can we get a crit? Maybe. <laughs> uh, we actually get red card. Right, right, right. Okay. So that's gonna help us out. Uh, I should have probably gone for a play rough there, knowing that he would get red carded out. Um, yeah, we'll go for play rough now. I would have gotten a knockout essentially, unless he went and got into Garchomp. Huh, that's unfortunate. All right, it's fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna lose this one for sure. I can't see us bringing it back. Now with Mimikyu's disguise broken, uh, or I don't know, maybe he'll go for a setup move here. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, in the meantime, I'm gonna get another game, uh, just so that we're not waiting on the next one. Uh, why do I have this open in two places? Hold up. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> I was watching another game here from a league. Who won? Oh, nice. Cool. Alright. Um, so, we have a Volcarona, which means rocks are going to be extremely important. I also see that my opponent has a Tapu Fini. Um, what's, what, what's happening here? Oh, he moved. Okay, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, play rough. We're gonna pick up another kill, but it's not gonna matter. We're gonna go for the shadow sneak here. It's not gonna be enough to knock him out. He's gonna go for lunge. Okay, yeah, definitely, definitely not the caliber of player that I'm used to. That's what I get for uh, trying out a bunch of wacky sets and lowering my score on the ladder. <laughs> Let's lead off with Landorus here. Get off that minus one attack on the Genesect. Uh, I kind of expect him to go for an ice beam here, not for a U-turn. So uh, I'm actually gonna go out into Muck. I'm not gonna play any games with this Genesect here. Uh, don't want to lose my Lando turn one. Definitely not. If he goes for U-turn, then he goes for U-turn. There's nothing I can do about that. It's fine. Um, the only thing that's really going to capitalize on Muck is, I guess, Volcarona, maybe? But even at that, I'm, I'm a Salt Vest, so... I should be able to take on any one of his attackers with this Muck. It's a shame I have such low speed. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I did not expect that. So, let's see. Uh, I expect Ferrothorn to come in. Uh, I'm going straight into Mag because I can't predict these people anymore. I just can't do it. Steve A. Do I know this guy? Maybe. 
Um, yeah, there's Ferrothorn. Not, e not even chancing it, just going straight into Meg. It's probably going to want to get up Hazards. I don't care. I'm going to trap this thing immediately. And then uh, Muck does some pretty solid work on his Tapu Fini and his uh, Metagross, which is nice. As we'll go for HP Fire here. Uh, it should bring him down to about 6%-ish, depending on his special defense. I don't expect it to kill. It is choice specs, but I still don't expect it to kill. We'll see. He might be Shed Shell for all I know. We'll see that about that. Um, that would be a good item because he has a Volcarona. He'd be able to capitalize on a, on a Magnezone going for HP Fire. That'd be a really good idea, actually. <laughs> I might try that out. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, no, all my opponents are taking their sweet time today, which is really fun for when you're recording. Uh, I'm going to pause it, guys. We'll be back when my opponent decides to make it. Okay, there it is. All right, so we do knock out the Ferrothorn. Great. And get the high roll. Um, not looking forward to that Volcarona coming in right now. Really not looking forward to it. Then again, Muck can take a hit. And I can potentially get the poison with knockoff. Yes, that's right. I said poison with knockoff. I love Muck's ability. <laughs> poison touch. Um, and we also have Water Shuriken in the back, so I'm not too, too worried about it. We have uh, multiple forms of priority, actually. We have two Shadow Sneakers and one uh, Water Shuriken user. Alright, once again, my opponent's taking quite a while, so this time I'm actually going to pause, guys. We'll be right back. Alright, guys, so four years later, and uh, Zoomerill came out. Um, don't really have a good answer to this. I think I'm just going to go into Lando. Uh, I don't really need Lando too much. Plus, if he goes for Belly Drum, then... Okay, he goes for Waterfall straight away. Does he... Is he banded, is the question. I doubt it, because I think that would have taken us out. I'm going to go for Earthquake. If he has Aqua Jet, then he has Aqua Jet. So be it. Um, at that point, I think I'll go into... Hmm, not sure, actually. We'll decide from there. But I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. He does have Aqua Jet. Okay. So, I think now we go into... Does he have any ground types? No. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so who's taking a who's taking a Volt Switch? <laughs> Let's find out. I expect him to actually go into like Volcarona or uh, maybe even Metagross, to be honest. Who knows? But Mimikyu looking like it can sweep for sure. Uh, I just need the right... I need Rocks Up is what I need. Like ASAP. If he goes into Volcarona, I'm going straight into Nihilego and I'm clicking Stealth Rocks. Actually, no, I'm clicking Power Gem, and then, I'll and then I'm clicking Stealth Rocks. He goes into Genesect, though. That's great. Uh, we are going to Volt Switch out on that. That's going to do a lot of damage. And uh, he does get the special attack raise, so that means I'm going into Muck. Uh, and I am going to go for a Pursuit on this turn. Because if he stays in, it's fine. If he switches out through U-turn, then I'll knock out his Genesect. So that's great. Uh, and then we can Shadow Sting whatever else comes in. Uh, or knock off if it's Volcarona. I'm not taking a chance with that thing. Uh, Tapu Fini looking like a little bit of an issue, but I do still have Nihilego. Uh, Mimikyu, Mimikyu looking, again, like it can sweep. Uh, he goes for the Iron Head, though. Uh, we are going to click Pursuit, and we are going to knock out the Genesect. Wonderful. Uh, I'm surprised that killed from there. Yeah, this thing is strong. Why is it so strong? That was a base 40 attack. That's crazy. All right. Uh, now probably in comes... Um, Volcarona? Maybe? Who knows? Uh, yep, there's the Volcarona. Okay, we're gonna click Knockoff. If he clicks Fiery Dance, then it's fine, because he doesn't raise his special defense, so I can just go into, uh, into Greninja. If he quivers here, that's a bad play. He's actually gonna go out into Zumeril and lose his Assault Vest. Okay, great, and he gets poisoned as a result. Awesome. Okay, uh, so we are actually just going to click, um, actually, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna go into Magnezone. As he actually doubles out into Volcarona, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go for the Volt Switch here. If he attacks us, then so be it, that's fine. Uh, and if he goes for the Quiver Dance, then we get off a good amount of damage. And I, like I said, I really needed rocks up, man. This Volcarona wouldn't have ever switched in. Uh, he would have been forced into his Tapu Fini, essentially. Let's see what he does. If he goes for Quiver Dance, then my, uh, my Volt Switch should still do enough to put him in range of, uh, it's gonna be close. It's going to be really, really close. Uh, actually, Nihilego can probably take any hit from this, right? Even like a Giga Drain? Let's find out. Full Corona. Uh, Quiver Dance. Let me just do this so you guys can actually see the calc. Uh, and then Nihilego. With no investment. Giga Drain. Wait, really? It's only doing that much. 
Are you serious? Oh, it's neutral. It's true. Yeah. Now, Lego's fine. We'll go straight into it. And, uh, in fact... Oh, wrong window. Um, fire, fire Blast at plus one is only doing 35%. It could be HP ground. Hold on. If he's hidden power ground... How much is he doing to me at plus one? Can I mess around with this thing? 89 to 105. Okay, so he's knocking me out. I don't think he's HP ground, though. I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so they're up. Uh, and now I have to... Oh, I have to be very careful around this. Um, I think I still need Muck. Actually, no, I don't need Muck anymore. Not with Rocks up. My opponent's actually gonna forfeit. Wow, okay. Uh, interesting. Not sure why. The game wasn't out of reach just yet. But anyway, we're gonna jump into the next game. Really weird games today, man. What's going on? This is what happens when I play at 3 p.m. Like it's I gotta I gotta keep playing at like two in the morning. That's when like the the normal people are out, I guess. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. If you play at 3 p.m., you're normal. I'm I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Alright, so my opponent's got a Kartana, a Magnezone. Uh it's looking a little bit scary. Another Azumarill. Why is that seeing so much play all of a sudden? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I think my best lead option is Greninja, actually, because he's got two ground, uh, ground, well, four times weak to ice. Uh, he's got a Latios, which is also weak to ice, uh, and he's got a pretty frail steel core, <laughs> so he's actually going to lead, lead off with Azumarill, so kind of bad for us. Uh, at the same time, I can just go into Landorus, eat up the play rough, even if it's banded, and then I'll just uh, U-turn out of there, or even Earthquake, I'm not sure yet, but we are going to get this minus one off on this Azumarill right here. As he is going to go for a waterfall, actually. Okay. Wow. Nice play. All right. So let's go into Nihil Lego. We're threatening this thing with a sludge wave. And I'm going to go for stealth rocks. Uh, hopefully, he lets me get them up. Uh, and doesn't just let his Azumarill die. Because this thing is pretty important. There it is. Awesome. He's going to go into Latios. Uh, I think we're just going to go for the power gem here. We'll see what he wants to do. Uh, I don't even know if Draco into Draco knocks me out. But I'm pretty sure Psy Shock does. So he's going to go for Draco right there. And we're going to get off this power gem. Pretty powerful. We're going to go into Muck now. And uh, I don't know if he's going to want to click Psy Shock or Defog. But either way, I think Muck is the best play because I get to Pursuit Trap this. As he's actually going to pull a switch out into Garchomp. Wow, nice play. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, there's not much I can do about that. I'm going to go for a knockoff. He's going to knock me out with Earthquake. Like I said, there wasn't anything I could do about that. All right, let's go into Greninja. Let's fire off an ice beam, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where that gets us. <laughs> it should be able to take out Garchomp, no problem. Unless he's scarfed, of course. He's going to go on to Magnezone. Um, that didn't do too much. 12%. Hmm. I'm not too confident about this killing right now. I'm just going to go for it. Forget it. It's fine. And we miss another Hydro Pump. I say another. Okay, he's Miracle. Good, 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 good. That's very good. It's a good thing we didn't hit then. I say another because I've been missing Hydro... I missed three Hydro Pumps in a row yesterday, guys, and it was extremely frustrating. But uh, I'm going to go out into Magnezone here. As he's going to go for a Hidden Power Fire. Okay. Um, again, I'm not sure why he made that play. Like, I'm really not sure. Alright. We're going to go out into Gren. And I think I'm actually just going to click uh, Dark Pulse. Because Dark Pulse, uh, Miracle might not be able to take me out. I don't, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, as he goes for Thunderbolt, okay. That's fine. Uh, we're going to go out into... What am I doing? Like, <laughs> it's a Magnezone. Come on, man. Um, yeah, let's go for Swords Dance. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever. He's going to go for Flash Cannon. It's going to break my disguise, but he's going to be sent out of here with Red Card. As he gets uh, sent out into Azumarill. Awesome. Uh, and I'm just going to go for the Play Rough. It's my strongest move. He goes for the Aqua Jet. It's definitely banded. Uh, and we're going to take out... Okay, we're not going to take out the Azumarill, but Shadow Sneak's going to finish it off. I mean, I lose this game. Like, there, there's no doubt that I lose this game. Like, going for Hidden Power Fire when he didn't need to. That, that just... That threw me off. Um, like, I could have gone for Hydro Pump there. And... Okay, he goes for a Z move. Wow. Okay. <laughs> sure, dude. All right, let's move on to the next one. It's fine. Uh, he made a nice play doubling into Garchomp. I think that was that was his best play of the game. Um, but other than that, it was pretty it's 
pretty elementary, every move that he made. Um, Merc st still saying no. Uh, Shoddy asking what to draft. <laughs> I'm just reading the, uh, the chat for the GPC and the NPL. Um, mm, not liking the nine tails. Not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna lead off with Nihilego. There's the nine tails. We're just gonna go for the stealth rocks. He doesn't have anything that hits me super effectively. We are gonna get up the rocks, beautiful. And um, I'm just gonna go for hidden power ice, expecting his Zygarde to wanna come in. Like as early as possible on this. We'll see. If he goes into Genesec, that's a good play as well. But I'm just clicking HP ice, I don't even care. Like. People are, are quick to switch into their, their most offensive mon once Aurora Veil is up. And nope, he goes into Genesect. Okay, good play. Um, I'm going into Mag. <laughs> because if you click anything other than U-turn, you're losing your Genesect. Could be Blaze Kick as well, who knows. Uh, goes for U-turn, okay, good play. The rocks are still here though. So, as long as these rocks stay up, we should be fine. In comes Zygarde, okay. So there it is. Um, we're gonna go out into Mimikyu, actually. Because at least I'm able to break this thing sub with uh, with Play Rough. At least I think I am. Uh, and he can't hit me right away. So let's go for the Play Rough. If he goes for the Thousand Arrows, he'll be red carded out. Which means he will have lost health. Um, nope, not able to break the sub. He goes for Coil. Uh, he can only hit me with... Hold on. He can only hit me with Thousand Arrows, though, right? That's all he can hit me with? He goes for another Coil. Not sure why. I'm gonna go for a Sword Dance now. As soon as he hits me, he gets ejected out of here. In fact, I'm just gonna go for another Play Rough, because I want as much damage off on this thing before it gets out. As uh, he just goes for another Sub, that's fine. I'm just gonna go for an SD now, because his Aurora Veil is about to fade. We'll see what he does. As he goes for another coil, that's fine. I mean, you can't hit me with Dragon Tail. You're forced to, um, you're forced to thousand arrows me. You're gonna break my disguise, but your your Zygarde's gonna get sent out of here. As he goes for thousand arrows, there it is. Okay, goodbye. Um, I'm definitely going for the Shadow Sneak here. I think is the best play. How much defense does a little Nine Tails have? I know I built a, a really bad team around it. Let's see. Uh, 75 and 73. It might go down to this. Let's go for the sneak. Nope, not at all. All right, there's the blizzard. Fails to take me out, but freezes me. Fantastic. Love when that happens. All right, let's go for another sneak. I mean, what is blizzard? 20% or something? No, it's it's 10%, just like everything else. Uh, he's gonna go for another blizzard. Luckily, good, 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 good. That's very nice. Okay. So now we go into Greninja. And, um, we have to rely on Hydro Pump, don't we? I really don't like relying on this move, man. I might just switch it out for Surf because it's so annoying. I miss every single one of these. It's crazy. Watch me miss this one, guys. If I miss this one, I'm ending the live. Just so you know. We're already at 24 minutes anyway, so might as well. Let's go. Come on. Why is everybody taking so long to make a play? Come on. There we go. All right. So that's dead. Uh, group, pff, Genesect is definitely coming in here. I can't see him going into anything else. Maybe Manaphy. But I do have a, a, a Salt Vested Muck in the back. So I will just attack the Manaphy. No no point in trying to conserve my Greninja. I mean, I still have HP Ice on Hilego as well. For his Zygarde. I just need to watch out for the Latios. That's really all I need to watch out for. He's going to go into Genesect. Uh, I'm going to go out into Lando, actually. Lower this thing's attack. Get it to... Uh, U turn on me, do not too much damage, luckily. And now the uh, Zygarde's gonna come in more than likely. I mean, Manaphy could come in. Uh, yeah, Manaphy does come in. Awesome. Okay, so we are going to go for an Earthquake on this. Because I'm not messing around with a Manaphy in front of me. As he does go for Z Rain Dance. Okay, beautiful. That's what I expected to come out. Uh, he's not gonna risk going for another. Um, Another, like a tail glow right here seeing as I'm locked into earthquake. I'm just gonna go for surf. There we go That does virtually nothing and we are just going to click knock off right here as he goes for another surf He is gonna lose his manaphy in the process uh, To the combination of knockoff 
plus a shadow sneak. And there goes the mana fee. Beautiful. Alright, so show me the Zygarde. I should be able to knock out the Zygarde sub though, right? In theory? Let's see. Hopefully. If not, uh, I'm going to have to rely on Ice Beam. Let's see if we can knock out the sub. Yes, we can. Beautiful. And now we're going to go for a Shadow Sneak and potentially poison this. Uh, Shadow Sneak will also take him out of being able to sub again. Uh, and potentially poison him. So there it is. There's the Thousand Arrows. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to go hard into what? Uh, Nihilego still has viability against the Charizard, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to want Nihilego in here. And we're going to go for the uh, for the Hidden Power Ice. We're also going to get the plus one special attack, which is going to force him to, tr to, 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 to attack me on the following turn. Sorry, that came out wrong. <laughs> he's going to he's gonna be forced to attack me on this turn, basically. Um, if he goes into Zard, that's a bad play. If he goes into Latios, that is his best play. However, I can just go into Greninja on the following turn. After I sack off... I want to see Nihilego. Okay, he goes into Charizard. Uh, you know, when your opponent just makes the worst play possible, this is one of those moments. <laughs> Goodbye, Zard. Alright, there goes that, and um, now it's just down to Latios and, and Genesect. Essentially, Genesect can't lock itself into anything that'll beat all of my Pokemon. Uh, this Latios has to go for a Psyshock right here. I'm not sure if it's Scarfed or not. Uh, either way, I think I just sack off... Um... I just sacked this off. This is the least useful member. He actually gives me a choice scarf. Amazing. All right. Goodbye, Latios. And that should be the end of the game because we are faster than Genesect as well, even if it is choice scarfed. And we will be able to knock it out with a power gem at this range. And that is GG to my opponent. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. If you uh, did enjoy the live, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.